How do I use the term experimental film, which is a very contested uh, term with lots of different interpretations, mainly as a way of letting the audience know that when they watch a film of mine, they're going to watch something that's going to be very different from what they normally get to see. They're going to look at something strange. On the one hand, we've ourselves, we've personal perception, personal experience, and on the other, we've the mysteriousness of the moving image. We have the sort of whole technology, the whole history of film itself. I use film to explore myself, my perceptions, feelings, dreams, experience of existing on Earth. When we set out to make a film, we really don't know how it's going to end up until the very last day of editing. It's an exploration. It is, strictly speaking, an experiment in which we use ourselves to experiment on the apparatus of cinema and use the apparatus of cinema to experiment on ourselves.
film apparatus and the body and the mind and even the digestive system is all being part of the same thing. You know, we are, we are film apparatuses. You know, we can, our perception is constantly taking in, filtering, cutting up. Film history is not something that's sort of monumental and monolithic and we come to it at a certain point and we have to do things in a certain way in order to enter into it, in order to enter into these structures. It's completely up for grabs. Um, film history itself is a way of freely moving through time. You can jump between different films from different decades, different ways of perceiving and looking at things. Whenever you watch a film though, it somehow becomes present as well because you're always experiencing it in the present moment. Um, it's a way of, I guess, liberating thought and memory and being able to collage these things in, in all sorts of different ways. start with an intuition or a feeling or a number of sounds and images, bring them together, work with them, and then allow something to build and develop.
You don't make a film for an audience with an audience in mind. You make a film in the hope that that audience can somehow be created. In doing that, you give yourself huge license, and it ties back to what I was talking about a lot the first day, about film history as being something that's still always being created, and how it's up to each one of us if we're making films to create that. And I think if you're going to do anything of any importance today, it's almost a responsibility to do that, to go back to the very beginning and to really rethink cinema through for yourself in your own image, working with the millions of influences which we get.